Hi there, I'm Akash here with Toasty DIY, and today I'm doing a video over how to use Adobe Photoshop to create different set pieces for your shots that you wanna edit in Premiere. And what do I mean by that? Well, I mean that this wall here is actually this wall, and that this window here is actually this window. So all I did is just lock myself off in the middle of a tripod shot, and then you can go into Premiere, export a frame, and then use generative fill to change anything you want about your shot. If you ever thought about creating your own setup that you wanted to use to record YouTube videos, but you just didn't like how the shot looked, now it's great. So as long as you keep yourself contained to a small part of your frame, don't move your arms out too wide, this might clip, this might clip, then you can actually get yourself the perfect setup that you've always wanted without having to go out and do a bunch of work of setting things up, especially if you're just doing this once or twice. If you're gonna have a consistent set, you might wanna think about how you do this, but otherwise, let's get into how this works. Once you've exported that, it'll go to whatever folder you sent it to. You take that image and you put it into Photoshop. Once you have it in Photoshop, it's really simple. You just select the area that you'd like to replace. You type in what you'd like to replace it with. And once that's done, you have a new picture with that. Go ahead and if you want to generate other parts of your image, go ahead and do that too. And then once you have your new image that you'd like to run with, go ahead and export that as a PNG snap that right back into Premiere. And then what you're gonna do is just select the area that you stayed in that you did not move out of. And you're gonna go ahead and mask that off and replace the background with that image that you created. Or you can do the opposite. You can mask over top of it and then set it over top of your last thing. But you have this plate in the middle where you are doing all your stuff almost as if it was a green screen. And you have the rest of the image which will now be your cool studio background everything like that and if you ever mess up and accidentally stick an arm in it or something like that remember you always have b-roll to fall back on so this is a great way to make setups really easy and minimal and not cost a lot of money so if you have any questions leave in the comments down below this has just been a quick tutorial of something that i think is phenomenally cool i made a shot earlier yesterday and it took about 10 minutes once i had learned this idea and I just can't imagine what you could, if you're an indie film director who just needs a basic VFX shot, this has become so much easier to possibly really sell your ruined dystopia or your, in my case, people walking up a mountain with a fake house, a fake tombstone and a fake tree, just because I wanted to see what you could do. But imagine what you could really do if you wanted something more apocalyptic or dystopian. You can generate full skyscrapers that don't exist. It's just amazing. So thank you all for watching. Like I said, leave comments in the description down below. And I appreciate you. Peace.